Hey curious people. So I'm going to start with these plugs and uh, I'm going to start processing. So I still haven't found my T10, which to be frank is, uh, is really pretty annoying. So I'm just going to do it the uh, smashy smashy way. Because actually I need to do it the smashy way anyway. Because even once the plugs, plugs, even once the screws are out, this is moulded sideways. You, you cannot get these out. You can't bash them out. You can't pull them out. So I'm going to smash them out. It's flying. It's flying. I feel very claustrophobic in this face shield, I have to say. But <laughs> I'd say it's a necessity, to be honest. How good a name am I? Let's see. Pretty good, it would seem. Okay, I think I can woo, take off the face shield. God, I love hammering in my shed. Such a good pastime. Let out all that tension. It's definitely the best source of relief. There's another one. There we go. So already, oh weighty, yummy. Okay, I'm gonna come back to it. I don't know if I already said it or not, but hey, curious people. So the time has come for a different type of plug soup because these plugs are so awkward to get out because they bend round. Um, and I have been hammering some, but I figured actually it might be easier if I soften this plastic with just with a little bit of plug soup. So I've got my trusted urn, which is only used for plug soup. I've got some tongs that I got out of the skip. And let's try a different type. Um, so, I've got my water. So I'm just going to put in. We need more. Okay. Hmm. That'll do, I reckon. About four litres of water. Shall I heat that up and come back to you? So while this is heating up, I'm going to do a little bit of groundwork on these plugs. Basically removing the flathead screws and getting them as ready as I can for the plug soup. So I'm going to be snipping off the copper cordage um, and just basically piling that up. because I don't need to warm up the cotton. I probably could actually, it'd probably get the shield, the insulation off easier, but um, for, for now, I'm just gonna concentrate on the, on the plug. You can already hear it. Gosh, it's already warming very nicely. Um, gosh, it's actually just warmed my hands. Um, it's amazing actually. It's only been a couple of minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly do that. I've got all these to do. These are the ones that have got more riveted in, non-screwed. Uh, um, oh, oh yeah, um, they're much harder to get into. So I've left those for now. I'm going to focus on these for now. So I'm just going to do this little bit of maintenance to get to the stage of being able to pop these in for the plug soup.
Okay, I'm going to do this in two separate batches just to give my hands a rest. That's the cordage that's come off. Gloves. Boiling away nicely. In the plug soup. <laughs> plug tea. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Okay. Turn the heat down. I don't really want the rolling boil while I'm messing around with it. So, there's the plugs. Give it a little stir. So I don't know which ones have been in the longest, but we'll see. So what we I want to see is how malleable this plug is now to manipulate the pins out, basically. So. Still feels pretty tough that one. It's gonna take. Hmm, maybe not. in there okay A lot of work for one little plug, that is.
Oh, crumbs. Hang on. I made it a bit of an error. Yeah. No, it's okay. Sleep. <sighs> that right there, I don't know, can you pick that up on the video? Yes. See that in the air there? That is why you need to do this in a well ventilated space with a respirator on because plug soup is it's like the best thing, but it's not worth damaging your health over folks. So basically I shut the door because I went inside to get a drink because I didn't want cats or you know anyone coming in while I had that hot water boiling but it just shows you just from that short space of time having my door closed look at all of that in the air so I'm going to put this back on and go back to the speedy scrapping because I can't talk with it on so <laughs> it's the only way I can really do it with these nasty ones because they've got to stay hot Otherwise, it's just no good. So let's get back to it. Okay, people. Whew. That was hard work. Um, so those ones with the rivets, I just basically cannot be asked. That is just way too much work for a plug. I've plug souped them, boiled them. They are just so difficult to get into. Um, what I think I'm going to do is just smash the ends off and take the three bits of cordage that I can get to because it's just, oh, I can't be, oh, I can't be doing with that. So I'm just gonna quickly do that and then come back to you. Okay, I have my very dirty wire stripper here. Um, it's been ages since I used it. Look at that, the good stuff. Um, but, Yes, I would like to, and that needs adjusting. Um, put these little bits through. 
I bet they're so small it's going to be a little awkward so I think I'm going to turn it sideways so I can see both to be honest um, let's see <clears throat> it still works so that's something let's see here Straighten them out a bit because it does help the machine. these little tiny shuts through the stripper um, however I expect a few more need to go back through because they weren't straight it was kind of a little bit awkward um, I had to run a few through again so I imagine I might need to run <clears throat> just some of these little ones through again but Overall, they should be scored nicely. Um, my stripper has never worked as well as um, Big Stack D's. I mean, I don't know if it's just great editing or the fact that he's obviously just really good at using everything. Um, but yeah, this one has always been really difficult to get the size right. Um, I've got my trusted hand stripper there, but it's a lot harder to use than this one so sometimes it takes a while and I have to you know put things through a few times but anyway let's have a look so yeah it's stripped all right so when it's like that I just give it a little dink with a hammer and it just helps pull that insulation off nicely and then it just peels down yummy so I mean the plugs well I mean it was quite the job really um, plug soup is really enjoyable I love doing it but by the end I don't want to see another plug again for the rest of my life <laughs> so you know it does it's a bit of a chore sort of thing um but you know it is what it is <laughs> so um the, the thing is with anything when you're doing a lot of them you kind of find what works you get into a bit of a rhythm and you know it's not too bad but I mean, those plugs weren't the best. With the twists and turns, I mean, my God, they were awkward, weren't they? They really were awkward. But, um, yeah, it was good. So what I'm doing is I'm just starting them all off so that I can take the rest indoors. to do while watching TV. 
so quick tip i'm just doing the ones that didn't quite go through properly um but with this it's scored halfway down to about here so i don't actually need to put this back through the machine just give it a little tip tap and then once you've exposed the copper the beauty of like this copper is that if you just get one piece with your snip your long nose pliers and pull it will literally tear down the rest of the insulation for you so easy as that you've then got it done Woohoo! nearly there of course if you haven't got a stripper or you don't want to use a stripper um obviously you know you can use a knife loads of people use that method ian uses that method all the time um but for little bits like this all you need to do is snip the end of so you expose just a little bit of the copper and as long as you can grab one of those you can tear down just like the bits that were half done and you can get the copper out it didn't quite go down so just finish it off like that and then effectively it's stripped so you know you, you can do it all manually I just haven't got the wrist power to do that. These are just a few that still hadn't gone through because they're a slightly odd shape or whatever. So I'll just give a snip. That snipped better. And just bend it back. You just want one of the bits as long as possible. Take that bit and pull for your life. Sometimes if you haven't got enough grip, use two and just hold the other side with some and then oh, give it a good pull. But I haven't got as good as grip using two. There you go. Um, I prefer to use a hand and one thing pulling down, but, you know, each to their own. And there we have it. So there's loads of different ways you can do it. You know, nothing is impossible. Well, not much. Anyway, where there's a will, there's arguments. No, where there's a will, there's a way. And this is just one of the ways. That, when I was stripping, I was like, oh, that looks like a bit of a tree. So, you know, um, keep all my copper for future casting and creations and stuff like that. And stacking, basically. Um, but I keep these little bits more for creations. So, last night, while I was stripping indoors. Bah, 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 no, not like that. I decided to make a little copper tree. Which... I thought it was really cute. Um, I didn't have my snips indoors though, so um, I had to just do it with my long nose pliers, which is the tool I use most when I'm creating things anyway. But I could have done with the snips to uh, do the eyes a bit better. But I thought that that was rather cute. Little copper tree there. Um, and I look forward to making some big ones. I do love... I do love things like this. So I'll probably display that, actually, in my workshop. Or maybe actually indoors, because I like it. But yeah, you can do all sorts of things if, if you are into creating things as well. It's not all, always about scrapping. So, anyway. Uh, I've got these last few just to quickly do by hand and then we can weigh up and actually see what value we got out of these plugs um, 
I mean, it's looking pretty nice, I would say, so far. It's not bad at all. Um, I put, I gave up on about 10 of the plugs because I just couldn't be asked. basically. The, um, the ones that were riveted in, uh, I just, it was so much work to get one open. I just couldn't be bothered. So um, I just got rid of those, which I know is, is, is shocking for everyday solders to do. <laughs> but it's, uh, this is a hobby for me and time isn't money. But time is still precious for me in that, obviously, I've got a whole house full of children <laughs> that need my attention and I work. And I have to enjoy <coughs> what I'm doing. And those ones that I really, I was smashing the heck out of them. I wasn't enjoying doing those. So I thought, no, there's only 10, 12 of them. Um, they can go. So that's going to affect our totals here, obviously, because there was... In fact, I, sh I should have... Maybe I'll weigh them and we'll take it off um, so we can work out what we actually got, perhaps. Right now because um, I need to get editing so I can get this video out to you guys and I've also the massive bedroom switch around continues and I've got a massive cabin bed to dismantle this afternoon which is going to take all of my time and energy for the day so yeah that's going to be a beast of a job and I thought I bought myself a nice set um, of torque spits for my impact wrench and what I actually bought was something completely different and I can't see them so perhaps I actually left them indoors um, I accidentally got the hexagonal ones well they're not quite hexagonal ones they're M's whatever they are and I was livid because I really wanted to be able to use this now I might be able to find a bit that fits uh, but I've basically lost all of my bits and this is so annoying in that it's you can't put the, the ordinary bits on because it's got this and I tried buying converters and they are just not sturdy enough they wobble all over the place I, think I might have one of the converters up here um, and so it, it doesn't really help me I can't find them, I don't want to drop this. That's on for the screws, actually. I don't need that one back on, to be fair. Um, so, yeah. I love this, but I really need one that you can put the ordinary bits on. Um, but hey-ho, I'll figure it out. I was just annoyed. They're not, they're not easy to get. So, anyway, I bought the wrong thing, so now I might have to do the blimmy thing by hand, which is just devastating. So... There we have the copper out of the bits of cordage out of the plugs. I mean, yum, yummy, 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 scrummy. So here we have some beautiful brass. Everyday solders may term it brassy goodness. And there it is. I mean, yummy. So I'm glad I did the plugs. Plug soup is one of those labour of loves. It's um, it's really great at the beginning, but by the end you're like, God, how many plugs have I got left? <laughs> so, um, yeah, we've got some yummy goodies here. So let's weigh them up. Got to get rid of the stripper. Everyday strips. And see what we got here. 13 plugs and they weigh exactly a kilogram well would you look at that so we'll take a kilogram off of the weight we'll start with copper so these tubs let's just zero one of those it doesn't even pick it up so that doesn't even matter so oh come on not even half a kilogram 
although you know 40 well that's not there's nothing to be sniffed at 400 grams you know i like it i think it's yummy 400 grams oh hang on i forgot the tree so still <laughs> i think i need my other scales <gasps> 110 yeah so a kilogram of brass just over i mean yummy can't complain at that so in total of yummy goodiness yum 1.5 kilograms of stuff that i'm going to use to make ingots and creations and stuff so next week will be all about tearing down e-waste again maybe even a skip dive if i get the chance um so we'll, we'll you know we'll see but thank you so much for watching i've really enjoyed it it's been fun oh i did start making some hang on a sec wait 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 well what's inside the loo what's inside the loo did try to make some copper poo <laughs> but the only thing was when i really picked them up they fell apart so they don't look like copper poos anymore but hey ho <laughs> so anyway i really enjoyed this thanks for watching back to tearing down next week and i'll see you in the next one so bye bye please leave a thumbs up and a comment and subscribe